Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how to get more out of your mobile cell phone. So I got this just over a month ago now, this is a Samsung S10 Plus. I'm really happy with it, it's got a lovely big screen, but sometimes you don't want to look at a mobile phone screen, sometimes you want to look at a TV screen, sometimes you want to be able to browse the internet using a proper keyboard and a touchpad. Sometimes you want to be able to play games on the big screen using your proper controller rather than the touch screen on here. So the idea is now you've been out of work all day, you come home and you want to watch a bit of Netflix or YouTube or you want to browse the internet and somebody else is already using the PC in your house. Let's pretend now in this example here that your TV is not a smart TV. Nothing wrong with this TV here, it's a 1080p, I like the picture on it but it's not a smart TV. So I can't access YouTube, Netflix etc on it. Of course I can do it via the Xbox and loads of other things that I have but for the purpose of this video here I'm going to show it all working on the phone here. So the idea is that you're sick of looking at the smaller screen and you want to do things on the bigger screen. Is it possible? Yes it is. So first of all we have to connect it to the TV. So I'm going to use this third party dock that I've got for the Nintendo Switch. You don't have to use one of these, you can use a whole variety. You can get official Samsung ones or you can get ones for under £10 like Amazon basic type ones. Basically it's a USB-C to HDMI adapter. So what we're going to do is, because for example we might be on Netflix for a few hours, we're going to plug in the charging port for your phone into this here so the phone can charge at the same time as outputting HDMI and then what we're going to do is we're going to get our HDMI port and we're going to plug it into there this is going off to HDMI 2 on the TV over there so now what we're going to do is we want to connect up the keyboard as well this is a wireless one keyboard and a little touchpad here so I'm just going to use the dongle into one of the USB ports at the side here Okay, now my Xbox One controller, this is a Bluetooth enabled one, is already connected via Bluetooth to my phone. All you have to do is go into Bluetooth, hold down this button here, and then it will pair up. Obviously turn Bluetooth on and then that will pair up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in this into the phone. Now it will say HDMI connected and then it may say disconnected because I've got the power cable, but then it will connect up again. So watch this, plug it in now. It will say, you can see it's charging, and it will come up with HDMI disconnected. Give it another few seconds and it says HDMI connected. And now if you have a look up on here, you can see that it's now connected on the big screen. But it looks kind of weird, doesn't it? And that's because we're using something called DEX. So if we have a look down here, D-E-X, DEX. Now we can mirror the screen completely, but I'm going to show you it in this format because to me, this is more like a PC. Now if you did want to just mirror the phone completely what you can do is if you scroll down from the top can you see here use your phone as a touchpad and tap here to switch to screen mirroring so if I tap here now can you see now it's just mirrored what I've got on here okay but I'm gonna go back to the deck so I'm gonna go back to here and I'm gonna tap here to do the decks and now that's like that but this is completely different up here now watch this when I have the keyboard here and I move it around can you see the little cursor moving around let me go up to the blue bit so you can see it more top right hand corner so that's really hard to see. One second, let me zoom into it so you can see it. Right, there it is there. Okay, and move it. You can see it's moving now. Right, so let me show you a few examples of what you can do. Now, what you'll have to do to begin with is you will have to set it up so that the audio is coming through the TV because by default the audio will come through the phone. And to me that's a little bit annoying because your phone might be a couple of meters away from the TV and you just want the sound coming through the speakers of the TV rather than the phone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to settings so, and double click. And now if you have a look here, we've got an option to click on Samsung DeX. So let's click on that. And now if you have a look, what we want to go to is set default audio output. Now by default, when you click on this, that will be off and then it will just be playing through your phone, which you don't want. So basically just click on that and then all the sound will come through your actual TV itself. Right now, so for example, if you want to do a bit of browsing, we can just go up to the internet here and you can have a look that basically this is the same as on your PC. So there you go, I've got Google there. If I was to Google, for example, uh, let's just do Nintendo, and this is all working on here, Nintendo Switch Lite. Enter. And there you go. You can see that that is the same as what you would have on your normal PC. And I can use my trackpad here to, for example, go up and down. 
So now this would be useful if, for example, somebody else was already on the PC in your house or you've just come home and you plug your phone in and you want to do more than just Netflix. You want to have a quick browse of something and then, for example, you want to go onto Netflix. Right, so that's it, quite simply. You do what you want there on Google like you would normally do. Now let's go down to Netflix just to show you that working. So click down here. I've already set these up earlier on. Now with Netflix, normally it takes about a minute or so before the quality becomes good. So let me just uh, pause this for a second and then I'll come back when the quality has picked itself up. Right, there you go. So now you can see the quality there is absolutely perfect. Deal? Yeah. So that looks really good. Right, okay, let's go off that one. I just want to show you YouTube. Mission accomplished. Right. Right, so this is YouTube here now. So let's say if I was to go up to uh, let's go up to let's go up to my channel and go to here and let's play one of my videos. And now you can see this is one of my videos playing, and of course we can make it big screen. Hi there, like I'm so. from MyMakeVince.com, and in this and video again, the quality is absolutely fine. The lights of this 1984 boombox. Look at that! Isn't that a great boombox? Look at that! TV here, which is analog. Right. Okay. So that's that one there. Now let's show you a little bit of uh, gameplay. So let's go on to Beach Buggy Racing. So if we turn it on here. Right. Let's get rid of this. Hold on. You see that is the radio, and it's still a great sound. You can cheer. Right, beach buggy racing. So now I can use my controller to do this. So let's give ourselves a bit more room. And again, it's full screen. Now when you go onto this to begin with, it won't be full screen, but all you have to do is go up into the corner and you see you can just drag it just like you would do on, on a normal computer. So for example, drag it there, click hold and drag it up to the corner there so it's full screen. Right, let me just show you this game. Controller works perfectly on all this, so there will be some games that obviously don't have controller support, so you need to Google which ones do and don't. So it's going to be accelerate, brake, and then we can use like the power-ups and also boost as well. So the trigger is to accelerate and this one's to brake. And the stick is working as analog as well. And again, if you look at the screen and the colours and everything, it looks amazing. Right, okay, now I'm going to show you a little bit of Minecraft. I'm just going to get my son in here to play this one. So again, I'm just going to scroll down and I'm just going to click on Minecraft here. And let me just grab him. So there you go, so full controller support working on this. And obviously it's going to look much better, Well, it's going to be much more enjoyable in my opinion anyway, using it with a proper controller and also on the big screen there. And again, colours, lag, everything like that feels absolutely fine. So there you go, I thought that was just quite interesting, all the different things you can do with your phone. Now obviously there's loads more things you can do if you want to watch your videos and your photos and everything like that on the big screen, then that is also possible. So it just shows you now how powerful the phones are getting, that we can do all this sort of stuff. And obviously this isn't modern, you've been able to do this for a long time now, but a lot of people don't utilise their phone for stuff like this. So for example, instead of maybe buying that second laptop, would it not be cheaper just to get yourself a £10 adapter and a keyboard, you've probably already got a keyboard anyway that you can plug in, you've probably got a USB keyboard from years ago and then a lot of time people just use the internet, just use laptops for general browsing in which case then maybe consider doing it on your phone because it does work pretty well. So that's it for this video, if you've enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.